Okay, does anyone have any questions or comments or anything they want to share? Shirley. What I'm struggling with, Terry, is using dualistic language now, but mm. being here is where it's at. So I set my intention to be here. So I took the dog for a walk this morning, for example. I'm just going to be present. I'm going to notice, noticing, looking, seeing, hearing, off I go. And of course, the moment I start just hearing and seeing, the me pops up to say, oh, look, now I'm hearing, I'm just seeing, I'm just present, I'm just this, which takes away from just being. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, like, like how, how do I sit with that? <laughs> because the, the mind is narrating and blah, blah, blah the whole time. The question to ask yourself there is who cares? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Like, really? Because... So are you trying to shut the mind up by asking the question, who cares? No, you can't do that. Good, You can't okay. do that. No. All right. No. See, you would have rather, when you went on your walk this morning, to experience no thought, correct? It was and more just to... Just to just to notice, no seeing was happening, hearing was happening, movement was happening. Yeah. Right. And who wanted that to happen? <laughs> it was the me. Yeah. So how, but it's always there. It always it always oh. pops up to tell me I'm here. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Is there a me or not? No. Okay. So <laughs> who knows that? The me. See, look, the, the irony is this. You know, I sit in here and I say, there's no me. And guess who gets that? All the me's sitting here. Mm -hmm. All the me's sitting here will say, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's no me. <laughs> it's, the, it's the me that's getting that. Yeah. So when, 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 see, there's not two me's. A me that realizes there's no me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what happens. That's, that's, but that's okay too, surely. That's just, <clears throat> it's part of the process. <laughs> when I say there's no me there, I mean that literally. Not there's a me here that gets there's no me here. But that's how it's interpreted. That's how mind interprets it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, okay, there's no me here. Says what? The me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now... That's the me I'm trying to get you to spot. Well, I've spotted it, but it just, yeah, it's like a shadow. It's, it's. Right. I, okay. I can't, good. can't, I'm good. it. Good, good. Yeah. Who's speaking at the moment? Yeah, the me. On mind, it's, mm. speech is just verbalized thought, surely. Please understand that. Mm -hmm. Speech is just simply verbalized thought. Both of them are language, yeah? Yeah. Mind and speech, They're both language. And what we miss, what we miss is in the immediacy of now, hearing a voice come out of here. What we do, the, the voice gets heard and we attribute it that it's me that's asking the question. Or it's me that's speaking. There's just speaking. Like there's just thinking. There's no thinker. Yeah. But the thinker goes for a walk this morning. 
it's a concerted effort about I'm just going to, I'm just going <laughs> to, whatever, right? <laughs> and that's the one we miss, that one. Yeah? And me cannot possibly understand that there's not a me. So when it makes the claim, yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, I can see now. Yeah, there's no me. That's bullshit. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. This 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 I this I this me that has to be spotted is the one that seems to arise in the immediacy of now. Commonly referred to as me, the seeker. Me that's, you know, analysing this me. Me that's on a non-dual path trying to figure this out. That's the one we miss. We miss that one. And that, uh, that's, uh, that arises in, in the immediacy of now, especially when there's speaking happening. So when, when you're who's speaking now, so it's not, it's, it, it, this, this body is speaking, so there's no, it's just, so there there's is. No, there's no speaker, Shirley. All that's happening is speaking. Even though it makes some kind of sense. Because I'm responding to a question. <laughs> but <laughs> none of it makes any sense to me. I'm not quite <laughs> sure what you mean by that. <laughs> makes no sense. Duality makes no sense. Zero sense. Except for the dualistic character. The dualistic character will say, of course I'm here and you're there. And I understand that's dual, but of course I'm here and you're there. From where I sit, that makes no sense. Zero. Absolute zero sense. <laughs> Why? Because there's, no you... there's no one here and there's no one there. So how do you experience me speaking right now, for example? There's just hearing. And then there's then I then then, then there's also hearing of a response. Like there's don't, don't think for a moment <laughs> that there's anyone here taking credit for what comes out of here. <laughs> I've no clue. I've no clue what's gonna come out of here. From one moment to the next, no idea. It's but it feels like I have an idea of what's going to come out because I kind of anticipate asking you a question and responding just the way that I am now. So it feels like I am aware of that. Yeah. What's so, coming from the mind. So, so if you're aware, good. What are you aware of? You just said, I am aware of that. What are you aware of? Aware of what? That there was a feeling to respond and then there were words and then there was a voice listening, seeing. Good. Now tell me about the awareness. See, we take the awareness to be me. Mm -hmm. We truly do. Mm -hmm. We truly do. And it's not. You just, okay. you just told me you're aware of the me and of a voice of thinking and of, you're aware of it. Now, what about <laughs> this that is aware is not that that you're aware of. Okay. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there's something, something, yeah, I think something's resonating, but I don't want to get my mind involved in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I sometimes say anything that you can be aware of is not you. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. And that makes logical sense, does it not? 
Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. But what we do, unbeknownst, we don't realise what we do, because we've done it our whole life, is attribute this that is aware as Shirley <laughs> or Terry <laughs> that is aware. And it's not. We do the same with the being, Shirley. The being. Mm -hmm. That's why we can you know, seemingly quite validly make the statement, yeah, but me feels like it's here. You can't tell me I'm not here. The me is not the being. Right, but if 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 it's believed that the, the being is the me, then meing happens. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's just misidentification. The, the the see this seeming me, the seeming me in the absence of thoughts disappears. Now, what's the me? <laughs> I've just told you. What's what's the me? Yeah, it's just, it's just construction of thoughts and good. mind. Good, good, yeah. good, good. Now, what can a thought experience? Mm, can only label, yeah. Right. But it's thoughts that are saying, this, this, this being is me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I sometimes get cheeky. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do this, but I can't help it sometimes, you know. So th this being is not the me. It's the you. There we go, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's not the me, but it's the you. The mind just goes with that information. Yeah. Your true nature resides as the being, just that our whole life, mind or thoughts, have been saying this being is the me, and it's not. And it's the being that is aware and conscious and seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. You are the being. It's just that the being is not the me. Yet there's a belief that it is. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Are you aware of yourself? Really? Are you aware oh, of Shirley? Are you aware of Shirley that operates throughout the course of the day? We are aware of the thoughts that this body mind has and the actions it takes. Good. Then you can't be that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the, 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 look, the only mistake that's being made there is we attribute that that is aware of Shirley to be Shirley. Yeah. So nothing changes other than that label of me or that identification of me on, that superimposes itself on awareness. Yeah, nothing changes, but everything changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I'm one, gonna sit one, with that. Yeah, once, once this is seen, what I'm trying to get you to see, not mm -hmm. Shirley to see, Shirley mm -hmm. can't see shit, she's blind, deaf mm -hmm. and dumb. I mean, I mean that, like, <laughs> not an entity. <laughs> <Okay>. <sighs> this is.
this is why we go through this process of working out what we're not. Is it, is it Shirley that's here? Is that true? Now, what's that Shirley that's claiming to be here? What's that? And then we go looking for that. We analyze that. There's some kind of intellectual understanding where we, we come to see, oh, yeah, surely there's nothing but a pattern of thoughts. Yep, good. Yep, I can see that. Says Shirley. And we miss this one. Because there is seeing of thoughts, yeah, or awareness of thoughts. There is. Now, the Shirley is just a mental construct, and the mental construct is not aware. So the, This is so simple and so ridiculously obvious. When it finally dawns, you will be flabbergasted at how this, how this gets missed. How is it even possible that this gets missed? This is so simple. And it is. It really is. The mind just complicates the shit out of everything. That's its nature to do that. <laughs> yeah. So the the me stops being produced, Shirley. That's the huge change. But in relation to the being. Doesn't change one iota, zero. The being itself, the being, is not affected by thoughts. The being doesn't go, oh, I'm feeling shit house today. The being doesn't do that. The mind makes up a story <laughs> and overlays it on the being. It's, yeah, I'm really feeling. I'm really feeling like shit today. And that that's saying that can't feel a thing. Zero. A thought can't feel. A thought can't see. A thought is not aware. Yeah. And this being, here's the irony. <laughs> This being is what we're looking for. <laughs> but while it's being labelled a me, we don't want to sit with the being. In fact, I want to change the being and do whatever I can. I don't like the way I feel. I don't like this being. I don't, in fact, I don't like being. It's yuck. It says... The mind, that's the setup. The setup I'm talking about. Yeah? Where in actual fact, this seeming me, which is nothing but a pattern of thoughts, can't feel anything. Zero. Zero. Then the narrator inside will say, yes, I can. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. You know, it's like...
once you know that Easter Bunny is not real, all prior thoughts about the Easter Bunny when we're kids, right, about the Easter Bunny completely changes. Why? Because now you know it's not real. Now there's a knowing. You'll never believe in the Easter Bunny ever again. So when you know without any doubt what the mind is saying is not true, when that's absolutely known it's not true, it's like it just crumbles. Doesn't manifest the way it used to manifest all the time. So the change is it stops producing a pseudo me. But because the me is pseudo, nothing changes. It's never real in the first place. Never real in the first place. This seeming me, it, it, it sits so close that we constantly overlook it. We turn up in this group and we ask questions, not hearing the questions come out, not hearing the questions just happening. We arrive in here, questions arise. Then we ask questions and we engage, yeah. believing that's me. And that's the one we miss, that one, this one, the, the one that believes it's sitting here that's arrived in the meeting today. <laughs> this one. There's not one there. There's not one there. This is the one you've got to see that's not real. This one here. <laughs> It's easy enough to go, oh, yeah, I can see, you know, that my backstory, that's just memories and that's just thoughts and clearly that's not me. After all, that's not happening now. And we miss what's, well, okay, well, what's happening now? Me. All right, what's that? What is this? The me is not the being. It's like in the absence of me, the being is free. You are the being. Mind is like a parasite. Yeah. It takes over, seemingly, it takes over the host and the host is just a pure being. And then the parasite takes over the host and says, yep, this is me and I'm being. And it's not true. The being's not dependent on the me at all. Zero. Never has been. But the me is absolutely dependent on the being. Remove the being and the me disappears. Oof. Remove the me and the beings here. This that we're looking for. This that's being sought. It's never gone anywhere. It's always here. It's just being labelled incorrectly and then believed. That's what's actually happening. Simple. Now, can you spot it? Now, can you see this? No. Look, when I say the me is, if we remove all words and all thoughts, what happens to the me? Everyone acknowledges, yeah, it disappears. There's not, there's not one here now. 
Everyone will acknowledge that. And we don't get the significance of that. The being remains. So, Tony, here's Lindy. Hi, Lindy. Hi. So, what I'm getting from that was um, a little bit like what Shirley had said, and when I was talking about my experience on Sunday, it is just like almost a tiny switch. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Literally yep. like taking one pair of glasses off yep. and putting another pair on and you just see it differently in perspective. That's That was my experience. It's just such a tiny switch. But I could never have done anything to make that switch happen. Correct. So in some ways, all we're doing is sort of softening ourselves up so that when we get the switch or when, when the switch happens for whatever reason that we haven't done, it sits better with us. I'm, I'm a bit confused about this because, you you know, because the dawning, we can't, you talk about the dawning, but we can't make the dawning happen. Well, let's just for a moment there, just pause, yeah? When we say we can't make the dawning happen, what are we referring to when we say that? The me. Good. The believed in me. Good. Yeah, but be careful with that. Who's believing in the me? The thought, other thought patterns. Good. Can a thought believe? No. Right. Well, hang on. What? Well, it makes a very convi- makes a very convincing case. Let's just look at it. Can a thought believe? Well, I'm assuming not, but I think I'd need to sit with that a bit to be sure for myself, really. You may, you may, yeah. I mean, what can a thought experience? Well, nothing. Then what's then? Belief just drops straight off, does it not? Well, I wish it did, but it just pops straight back up again. If if indeed it's dropped, then it pops straight back up again because the pattern is so incredibly strong in most of us. Yeah, and it just needs to be counted with the truth. Sorry, I don't get that. <laughs> What can a thought experience? Well, nothing, but its translation happens so quickly that... I I understand. I mean, its interpretation happens so quickly. No, it can't. No, it can't. Right. But see what the mind does straight away? You know, it can't experience, but... It just can't experience full stop. It's over right there. It's over. It'll well, I know be- that, but it doesn't, it doesn't doesn't stop me feeling that it can, you know, in the me. That's not, yes. Yeah. See, who's feeling? Well, it's the being that's feeling as a result of the mind interpreting something. The being is feeling. Is it the being that's feeling or the me that's feeling? Well, this is where I get confused because it's definitely the body-mind that is having the feeling, but it would only in response to the uh, imagined me who has had a thought, this is good or bad or whatever, but there's definitely a response in the body. What's the feeling? Well, what whatever the mind has, whatever the thoughts have conjured up, and is that true? 
that the feeling no 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 it's 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 not true but the but the body's been hoodwinked into believing that it is true and therefore it has a reaction no 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 the body hasn't been hoodwinked at all not one little bit zero hasn't been hoodwinked at all so why is it having these very often not nice feelings in response to a thought that's not true good it's not Lindy, it's not. You so you're saying that the body isn't having a feeling, even if it's based on a false premise? The body having a feeling. Give me an example. Well, my, my stomach's churning now because... I'm finding this conversation slightly difficult. Right. So we're talking about um, the physical sensation, the physical feeling of the body or <coughs> the believed in emotional sensation. Physical body. Yeah. Yeah, you'll feel the body. No ifs or buts about that. <laughs> no ifs or buts about that. You knock your knee. And you'll experience pain. There'll be pain. Yeah. You accidentally run your hand under hot water. Oh. That'll be experienced for sure. Yeah. The stuff that's not real is all this seeming emotional pain. None of that is real. Zero. Well, I understand it isn't. It's a very it's a very thin line, isn't it? But but I get that because it's based on a false premise. Nevertheless, the physical reaction. I mean, you know, somebody could walk walk in here and shout at me, and I'd be scared. Yeah, that's yeah, but that's and, 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 that, and that would be a, that would be a, a biological basic reaction. But if but I not, yeah, imagine not, some. But if I imagine somebody walks in and does that, that's not true, but the feeling is the same here. If a lion all of a sudden appeared in your room, yeah? Yes. There would absolutely be a reaction. Yes. Zero to do with a me. Yes. Zero. Yes. The me would catch up later. The me would start to get the idea of a me would start to formulate later in the immediacy of that moment yeah the body goes into an, a natural self-protection mode it's nothing to do with a me zero yeah what what you know we we would say um the body experiences a rush of adrenaline yep very natural biological natural what's not natural by any stretch of the imagination, is all the imagined stuff. All the emotional sadness and grief and woe is me. That's all, that's all imagined. Yes, but, it, but if you've had, which you know well, just to, as an example, a very traumatic thought, something that's stuck with you that happened, say, when you were young, when I think about that, my response is exactly the same in the moment as if a lion had been here. So the body still does the whole adrenaline and cortisol thing, even though it's not here. That, I think that's I think that's what I'm saying. But that, that sort of takes us away from what I originally said, I think. Yeah, but that's what we think is happening. That's only what we think is happening. That's in the dream. That's what we think is taking place. But the lion would only be in the dream as well. If it walked in the room now. <laughs> if it walked in your room right now. <laughs> well, I mean, this, I, I think this is, this is the confusion because I thought this, that this whole thing was a dream, really. Well, it's not what the mind is saying it is. 
What the mind is saying it is, is the dream. That's the dream. Okay, that's clearer. Yeah. yeah. See the... When we're asleep and we're dreaming, we can feel all sorts of stuff in the seeming dream character in that dream and believe it. The body's laying horizontal on the bed. Goes to sleep and dream happens and this dream character seems to arise in the dream and you can experience all sorts of emotions in that dream, correct? Yeah. No, incorrect. Well. Nothing is it, actually, it's, it seems like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It just seems like it. But in truth, and <laughs> when do you know the truth? When you wake up. When you wake up in the morning, when you wake up, you're immediately released from that. Why? Because there's a knowing that was a dream. None of that was real. It might even take a moment for the body to settle down when you wake up, depending on what the dream is. You might, you might wake up in the hearts. <laughs> and it just, but it very, 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 very quickly settles. Truth. Yeah. Now, when it comes to things like trauma, Lindy, in this seeming life, yeah, which is also a dream, yeah, that seems real. You say it's, but you say it's not a dream. It's what we think. It's only what we're thinking is a dream. This is why, really, why I'm questioning questioning this but, now. No, no, that's because you're saying because of what I'm thinking. That that believes it's thinking is the dreamed character that believes it's thinking or believes it's trying to grasp this or understand this now as we're communicating, Lindy. This is the one we miss. This one here. What? Mm, okay. I mean, I don't think that I am going to get it by having this kind of conversation. You know, I don't think that switch is going to change because of one particular conversation we're having. I think it's more of a much more general exploration. And I mean, to go back to that little switch, you know, I, there's nothing that can make that happen, is there? No. Apart, apart from possibly being in the energy here, surrounding ourselves with all this. I mean, it's, a, it's a, on a relative level, it is a process. But at the end of the day, we can't make that switch happen. So any understanding we have just helps us navigate if the switch should happen. Is that correct or not? Yeah. The, 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 um... Look, all that's happening, Lindy, is what's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, that, all that is happening, hopefully. But then again, it doesn't matter, actually. <laughs> all that is actually happening is we are becoming more and more conscious. That's all. Nothing else. And the more conscious, the more conscious we become, the more there's the realization of the dream, like becoming like a lucid dream. All that's happening is consciousness is waking up. That's all. And it's <laughs> like we need to be conscious to be aware, true. That's so consciousness that's aware. And this consciousness is also not different from, it's also the being. So yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're, we're, you know, I mean, I think it's just a bit of clarity. I mean, I don't think we're in massive opposition about it. I just seem to have a slightly different way of seeing it these days than I did when we first started talking and hearing Shirley and what she asked, you know, it's so akin to um, the exploration that I have been doing and 
and do do. So I thought, uh, yes, I just, just sometimes you just want to unravel and tease a few more bits out, don't you? Absolutely. That's, that's the whole idea of this. This is what yeah. we do here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, this is a, that's beautifully put, Lindy. That, like, this is an unlearning. It really is. It's an unraveling belief. Well, I absolutely believe I'm in. <laughs> we'll say average Joe walking down the street. You can't tell me I'm not here. Of course I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yeah. But with, with some investigation, with some inquiry, just some inquiry. Yeah, it's extraordinarily radical, this form of inquiry extraordinarily radical radical as it's the uh, it's quite funny isn't it because it's completely the antithesis of uh, you know um i believe that people who are um mm, radicalized and commit terrorist so-called terrorist atrocities or whatever um they have to be de-radicalised. <clears throat> what we're doing here is like an opposite version of that, really. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 instead of de-radicalising them, we're just going to remove the person altogether. That's, that's, ra that's radical. <laughs> that's pretty damn radical. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. I mean, I'm sure I shall chip in and ask other things, but... Um... Well, that was good, Mindy, thanks. Um, hi, Terry. I just want to um, find out if, <laughs> if you could clarify something. Because you, you're asking Shirley a question, I, and I missed some of what Lindy said, so I don't know if the answer popped up at some stage. But you said, who believes there's a me? Yeah. Right. There's a belief that there's a me. Well, it seems... So who, who's it, doing the believing? Yeah. Right. And is that, we, is that, is that actually, is the believing actually happening from an entity? Yeah, before you get to that, okay. I just wanted to ask you something, which was you clarified there was no me, right? We all yep. agreed on that one. So, so whoever's doing this believing can't be me. Who doesn't Correct. exist? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Who is also the same person that's not talking right now or listening or any of this other stuff. So this is pretty kind of weird because if yeah. there are no listeners and no speakers and no thinkers who are me's, then who is doing all this stuff? Uh, now, I know you think, oh, well, that's so easy yeah, that must be the sixty-four million billion dollar question, right? No, 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 no. See, the who is doing all this stuff is not necessary. So, so what, okay. What, so, what is what is absolutely necessary is to see what's not doing all this. Oh, stuff. Okay. So, can I put it this way, yeah. or whoever is putting it this way? <laughs> That's what happens to me. I know, know, I know. It's funny, though. Yeah, go on. Uh, <laughs> the proposition or the, the supposition of a me or the premise that there is a me, this, this thing is not necessary to explain everything that's going on. It's a kind of like an extra concept that's been added on somehow, and it's not necessary. Everything can happen. Every words can be said and heard and bodies can move around and all of this stuff can happen without any me being involved in any of it. Yeah, there isn't one. Correct. There literally, literally is not a me. There's not a me, there's not a you. There's no Correct. or me's or anything. Correct. Holy shit. Talk about radical. <laughs> yeah. 
But it kind of makes sense. Well, it makes sense that it's unnecessary and it makes sense when you explore it, you can't really find any me other than a concept. Yeah, All what, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah what, 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 what the realisation that starts to dawn, and I don't know how many times you guys have heard me say this, is everything is just happening. Yes. Everything. Well, the truth. There has to be the alternative. But unfortunately, there's such a reflex and a habit of assuming that me is doing everything. Yeah. That even that inquiry, I don't exist, or me doesn't exist. It's so stupid. It's like me claims that it's discovering that it doesn't exist. It's I know. Like, I know. It's like a contradiction in terms. How could it help? How the hell would a me discover that he doesn't exist? It's That's right. It can't. That's right. It can't. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's why you hear some people, some teachers just say, it's hopeless. There's nothing you can do. Zero. Don't even try. Don't even try. It's hopeless. There's nothing to get. You're not even there to try. Well, you're, that, never, that, you're, that never gonna, you're, you're never going to get this. But that is actually very helpful. It's helpful yeah. to say there is no me that can learn this. Yeah. That even more biz- more weird that there's some someone something that needs to be understood or whatever is that there is someone who can do this understanding. You know, like correct. It's a real liberation to to let let go of that whole yeah. process, which is yeah. the quest, the the yeah. bloody search for the ultimate truth and all this sort of stuff. You know, there you so go. Painful. There you go. Now what's left? I get that settled. Uh, what's left is what was always there, which is whatever's going on. You know, it doesn't need any me's to make it happen or to explain it or to understand it. Yeah. And the Except meaning. Somehow the <laughs> me doesn't want to get it. <laughs> yeah, because it can't. Um... <laughs> Shut the, up, me. The, 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 the Terry. <laughs> <laughs> The me, the, the me-ing just stops being manufactured. Yeah. It literally just, it just stops. I think we just have to understand that you're absolutely correct. It really is absolutely weird to yes. the mind. It oh, is yeah. absolutely. It's, it, this is completely weird and it won't ever be understood. We'll keep asking questions because the mind is still butting in and wanting to understand and ask questions. But actually underneath, we don't need to. No. Um, but would you agree, Terry, that there's, um, there's a, there is a slight bit of mystery to this? I mean, some people call it magic. I mean, this is all semantics, really. But there is a bit of a mystery because with the best will in the world, I could sit and listen to you all day every day for the rest of my life. But I think it would be, at at my grand old age, um, almost impossible for my mind to become unconditioned enough to actually see this through from an intellectual kind of mind perspective anyway. So would you agree that there's, as well as us doing all this, and this is, you know, we need to be here, there is a bit of a mystery here. None of us quite get, or you, even you, don't quite get what happened and what is happening. There's sort of something that's, I don't want to be too woo-woo here, because I think this is a, a, at least as much scientific, sort of, yeah. um, as it is spiritual, if you know what I mean. But would, do you agree that there's, you know, there's something in here that's a bit mysterious that we'll never get, even that you don't get? <laughs> Here's the, here's the irony right there with that. Oh, my God. Honey, there's nothing to get. Well, I know, but you know what I mean. You know I'm just using language. Yeah. It's unfortunate I language. I but understand. there is a bit of a mystery involved with all this. That, and I think when I realised that, that really helped me to relax because, because well, you know, I, I, I can't do it, you know. And there's a bit of a mystery there. Then. Until they're not, Lindy, Lindy, okay. and Lindy, it's all right, yeah, okay, until there's not. But even the most hard-bitten speakers and teachers, some of them say, you know, 
there is a mystery to this. Yeah, and and <laughs> we're trying to speakers are trying to talk about something that's not communicable. You can't speak about it. So things like it's a mystery will be used. <laughs> Terence, so although there's no you or me, I think as James was saying, there are bodies. Let me just I, pause I'm there wondering. for a moment. Just pause there for a moment. Yeah. What's a body? Watch what the mind does. Watch what your thoughts do. Watch what they do. Please do not attribute yourself to be the thinker right now. When I say, what's a body? Observe what the mind throws up. Mm -hmm. You're not doing that. Now, let's follow through on it. Yeah. What's a body? Without words, I can't explain it. Th then is there a body? No, no body. The word, the word body, no. It's just a label. Right. So, okay. So what's this? Without the word. It just is. Good enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what I tried to get you to witness then, yeah, mm -hmm. was your own direct experience yeah, of your internal thinking process. Yeah. Start doing it when it gets asked a question, the mind just automatically engages. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get you as that that is aware and being to witness that okay. right here in the moment. Sometimes okay. I'll ask somebody a question yeah, and I'll say, now, just observe, just watch what the mind throws up. Watch, watch, watch what it throws up. I try and separate the being and this that is actually aware out of the mind. The mind, you know, um, let's have a look at that. Okay, Shirley, yeah. watch this. Okay. Shirley, tell me about time. Watch, just watch Shirley, watch. Mm. Yeah, I mean, immediately it's it's there in the past and the future and the... Oh, oh, yeah. you're not doing any of that. You're observing it. Mm -hmm. And trust me, <laughs> <laughs> the me can't observe. It's like holding a rat in the bag. <laughs> I can feel it jumping around the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's okay. spotting. The mind just responds. Yeah. But what we believe is, as the mind is responding, it's me that's responding. No. No. Let's try it again. Yeah. Now, try not to respond. Do your absolute best not to respond to this question. Allow no thoughts, zero thoughts to happen in, rela <laughs> in relation to this question. Yeah. I don't even have to ask you. You're laughing. You <laughs> already know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No control over it. Zero. And we, but we attribute it as me that's thinking that. It's not. Okay. If it was, you'd change it. You could change it. Mm. Or you could... Like I set you up to do, I'm about to ask you a question and I don't want you to have one single thought about the question zero. You can't do that. Because it's not you, it's not the person that's responding. There's no person there to be 
just the mind is reacting to a question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Spot that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the notion, when you really start to spot this, Shirley, yeah, the notion, I am the thinker, becomes laughable. It's absurd. And it's so obvious that clearly you're not, right? Clearly. And that shatter, starts to shatter that illusion. The whole thing is an illusion. None of it's true. What we, what, you know, what we think is going on is not, not what's actually going on. <laughs> Malcolm, you're back. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Um, there is something that can be done, isn't there? It's um, <laughs> it's witnessing, and it's not the me that's doing the witnessing or the observing, even though it feels like it. So it comes down to observing. It does. And that, at first of all, that feels like it's me doing it. Correct. And then it's got a life of its own. Correct. Until eventually it dawns, which is kind of where I am with Shirley and, and Lindy. Yeah. Eventually it dawns. It's not me that's mm. observing. How could it possibly be? Mm. Then things start to radically shift. There's just a natural shift when that's fully recognized. Yeah. And it's your point of, well, try not to observe. <laughs> Helpless. Totally. Totally. It doesn't matter whether you say, well, okay, observe or don't observe. It doesn't matter. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. But the, the me, it seems the me can be observed. Everything can be observed. Well, what does the me look like? It's this imagination thing that thinks it's doing stuff. So what's actually being observed? The imagination thing that thinks it's doing stuff. That, that calls itself the me. Good. What does that look like if we're observing it? What does it look like if, if we're observing it? If we're well, observing it, what does it look like? It, it's, um, it looks like an activity. Um, and it's a bit like Malcolm says, it's like it's coming from further back, from a witnessing thing where it, things are generated from here out. Like that. Witnessing the me or observing the me. Yeah. What does that look like? The me I'm talking about. If we're observing the me, what does that look like? What is how, the does me that, how does that affect the activity of the me? Now, what does it look like? It. What do you mean by it? The me. You made the statement. There's observing, the there's observing the me. The me the me doesn't look any different except it's not identified with. You don't you know it's not you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The me doesn't look any different. Different. You still haven't told me what it looks like. Well, it's only an activity, it doesn't have a real existence. So this activity so which I attribute to the me. So, so what, what does the activity look like? It's a certain vibration, I'd say, Terry. Just like when you say to us, think about this. It seems to me that my mind clicks into a certain way of looking at things. It's a certain, takes on a certain color, ambience, analytical, has a feel. And it, that then I know I'm in the realm of thought. And it's the same with the me. 
it has a has a weight it has a kind of an edge it has a feeling and that's the activity i attribute to the me good the that exact, is the me good the exact same thing happens when you asleep on your bed and your character arises in a dream exact same thing happens same thing as what what you j literally just described Oh yes, yes. Because the dream, the the dream activity is not dissimilar from waking. It has all the same feelings to it, and so yeah. on. The anxiety, the, yeah. the pleasure, all the same. Yeah. Now, and if, if all the stuff that's going on in the dream, in the sleeping dream, to the dreamed character, it all seems real. Yeah like a vibration or an energy or an anxiety or a fear or a pleasure or whatever, all sorts of things seem to. Last, last night I was crawling on the roof somewhere in my dream <laughs> and I thought, hang on, Liz, you're dreaming. This is a dream. And I thought, well, okay, but I don't really believe that because if I believe it and I fall off the roof or jump and I'm not, it, and I am dreaming, but... That's all right, but what if I'm not dreaming and I hurt myself? <laughs> so I was caught in. <laughs> oh, <I love that. laughs> and so it goes on. I understand, yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> really good point, yeah. I'm not suggesting for a minute, and I'm not also saying that you're implying this, yeah, but I'm not suggesting for a minute to test whether or not there's a me here or not is like step in front of a bus. <laughs> I'm not so, I just don't think I'm suggesting that. Oh, there's no me here, so me can't get hurt, can't can't even get hit by a bus. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> In the absence of thought, there's no me. In the absence of thought. There's no me. I can't make it any clearer in terms of what the me is. In the absence of thought, there's not even a feeling of a me. <laughs> we don't have any thought that says, yeah, but I feel like I'm here. <laughs> like if it all just stopped, Completely well, what, about, what about these kind of vibes and so on that seem to have the, the quality of certain things? You know, that anger has a quality to it. So yes. does me have a quality to it? No, no but, but, but see. <laughs> Although there's no me. This, this, this quality that you're referring to. Yeah. It's not anger. It's just an energy. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's just an energy. Well, the me is just an energy too. No, no, the me is totally fabricated. It's totally not real. But why, I mean, it, I, the me, the I me, think it has... The me is not, it's not a thing. But it has an energy just like anger. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, Lizzie. That that is experiencing the energy is not the me. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I'll go out on a limb again and risk saying this. Yeah, That that is experiencing the energy is not the me, it's the you. Experiencing what energy? This vibration. Which there is a you said the me doesn't have the vibration. Correct. But, but and then the you can't be experiencing it. There is a vibration here, darling. Here's the explanation for the vibration. There is a vibration here. Which we mistake for the me. Correct. Yes, yes. I agree. That's what <laughs> I agree with you. Right. Well, that's lucky. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 
And it's this vibration because we take it to be like a, it, it makes the me feel real. Yes. Because there is an energy. There is. Somebody. Yeah, just like rage has an energy. Yeah. 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 It, okay. all comes, it all comes down to the being. In the absence of being, there's nothing. Well, we're not alive, eh? Just nothing. Not that there's anyone to be alive or dead, but there'd just be nothing. <laughs> Mind will step in and go, what, 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 what does he mean, nothing? What would that be like? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> You like nothing. <laughs> it's incredible what it does. Brilliant. It's brilliant. So brilliant. The way this is all set up is brilliant. Brilliant. Now just see the setup. That's all. <laughs> just, just see the setup. But the interesting thing about looking at the setup is that you actually think there's a me who fell for it, or at least I do. Yeah, and until that's also saying true. Yeah, you're right. Because you think that it's actually an optional falling for it, but it's an inevitable falling for it because there's no me to fall for it. The Correct. falling for it is part of the being. There's, there's, there's no one falling for it. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. No one. No. No, no one. <laughs> Everything is just happening. Tell me it's not. Oh dear. <laughs> Everything is just happening. Including a seeming me. That's just happening too. Yeah. It's just happening. The idea of me being here and have, having free will, yeah. that's just happening. There isn't anyone actually here that has free will. But there's an idea that there is, and that idea is just happening. Now, just see, sometimes I get cheeky and I say, well, you know, find something, anything, I don't care what it is, anything that's not just happening. <laughs> anything. <clears throat> um, Terry, but you know when you say um, everything's just happening, I absolutely believe that that is your experience you know, your experience. That's how it seems from where you're coming from, where we, who are still caught up with the me or parasitized by the me, find that very difficult to get hold of because we're still in the world uh, of cause and effect. And actually there are very good reasons in the world of cause and effect why this is happening the way that it is. Yeah, but you, know, you understand, Lindy, but you can look at that. Yeah, mine will stop it, of course. That happened because of that. It won't go any further than that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's just an infinite number of seeming causes. Now, where's the primary cause? Oh, yes, no, no, I completely get that. But what I'm saying is, yes, and, and that's a relative. I mean, you know, this cause, infinite regression, I mean, that's a, um, that's a relative concept as well, isn't it? I mean, you know, um, that's, that, that, that's certainly what, uh, you know. But, but infinite regression is because everything has a cause that has a cause that has a cause that has a cause that has a cause is something else, you know. So I absolutely get that. But this just happening really doesn't make very much sense, does it, when we're in the mind, you know, Realistically, when the mind's in charge. That's why I use that infinite regression pointer. Yeah. If 
something is based on a cause, yeah? and you've got an infinite number of causes before it, infinite number of causes before it, yeah? nothing would ever come into existence. Because even this cause here, you know, whatever it is, is still dependent on the infinite cause for its existence, for its being. Well, I suppose my response to that is it's still a cause, whether it's infinite or not, on a relative level. Yeah, but it doesn't work. It literally doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, we don't have to know what the original cause was to believe that I've just picked up the coffee cup yeah, and that was because, because, because. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think I'm rather detracting from this. I think it's something that one day I will see. I, don't, I just don't think I'm going to get that in my present mindset, if you see what I mean. I just don't think I'm going to get this happening, happening, happening. Just occasionally I get a little glimpse and I sort of get what you mean. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, it still feels like there is cause, 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 cause. But it was the, um, it was that really that convinced me that there isn't free will. So I mean, it's a useful concept, you know. But I'm yeah. not going to get the happening. I don't think. It's it's a useful concept, and what it does, if it's truly looked at, it completely wipes out and eliminates cause and effect. It can't not. So therefore, cause and effect as a theory, as a working model, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Simple as that. Therefore, therefore, I can't hear you, Lindy. Therefore, all of all of this, whatever this is, right, is no cause. Mind okay, I, I don't get that, but but may, maybe I will at some point. Yeah. Just if you just, Lindy, if you just look at, if we take the concept, yeah, God created the universe. And then we wonder, well, who created God? Well, it'd have to be another God. It'd have to be like, it'd have to be a God that could create a God. Because okay? kids will go, who well, created? I don't see it like that. I mean, Big Bang. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that's what I understood. You know, something happened at some point and everything has just carried on from that. Yeah, I mean, right. maybe something didn't happen at some point, but my, my head can't get the possibility that something didn't happen in the first place, I suppose. What, 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 what happened prior to the Big Bang? Infinite potential. That sounds like a cause to me. Causeless cause. Causeless cause. <laughs> then shit can happen. If it's possible. Anyway, I mean, I, I think this is all a bit theoretical, really, and, and I think I'll get it. But, um, yeah, well, I just... You will. You will. It's funny. And when you do, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> cause and effect just becomes absurd. Absurd, absurd, absurd. Well, <laughs> Deb, you all right? You tracking with us? Yeah. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yeah, just hearings happening. Beautiful. Hearings Beautiful. happening, and uh, it's just pure gold. You yeah. know, this whole getting together and having these conversations is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Something like beautiful about it. Yeah. This, this is my favourite place to be, if I'm allowed <laughs> to have one. I'm yeah. allowed to have one. <laughs> yeah. This, this is beautiful here. Beautiful. You know, everyone else is walking around asleep. <laughs> As we come in here, at least there's people, you know. I love this. This is gorgeous. Mm. All right, guys, thank you. It is time. Yeah, it is. It is. Thanks, guys. Thanks for chiming in. Love you all. Love you, Ted. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Terry. Bye, guys. See ya. Good night.